Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Teacher Max. And just recently, the Embassy of Japan in the Philippines posted an announcement about the opening of the application for a CIR under the JET program. And today, I have with me my friend who is a CIR and he will be giving us some information about the job. So everyone, let's welcome... Hi, I'm Trevor. Come from England to Kyotango as a CIR. Yes, okay. So Tre Trevor is one of the CIRs that we have here in Kyotango. So this vlog will actually be a three-part series because there are three CIRs in Kyotango, right? So today we are going to have Trevor and we'll ask him some questions about the position and like about his life as a CIR here in the country. I never made it, but I know I did take some money. Are you ready, Trevor? Yeah, I was born ready. Yes, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the first question would be like, what is a CIR? So a CIR is a coordinator for international relations. Oh, I see. Um, so that means that we're working in local government um, in you know, helping the, the Japanese staff have more of an international angle on their activities. Yeah. So as you know, guys, that I am an ALT, which stands for an assistant language teacher. So a CIR stands for a... Coordinator of International Relations. Yes. And I think both ALTs and CARs really like promote interna internationalization, right? We do. Yeah. We do it in, in different ways, I think. The ALT is more like get the children excited about international, yeah. international experiences. And CIRs are a little bit more oriented to the, um, the the city or town in general. Yeah. So, okay. So as you have, as you might have noticed, everyone that in, if you try to look for videos on YouTube, you might see more of videos about ALTs. So today I'm going to give you more information about our CIRs, who are also part of the Jet program, of course. So now, Trev, another question would be. What would be like the common roles and responsibilities that you play as a CIR? Okay, so the roles do vary quite a bit between CIRs, but um, probably the most common factor is doing translating or interpreting work. Mm -hmm. uh, more translating than mm -hmm. interpreting, I find. So that only means that you really need to have a good command of the Japanese language. You do, yeah. 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 So it, you cannot be a CIR if you cannot speak Japanese. No. <laughs> that, wouldn't, so, that wouldn't work. <laughs> I can't be a CIR. <laughs> so at what level? Like uh, if you have taken the JLPT, yeah. uh, as you have known, the Japanese language proficiency, proficiency test, yes. at what level should you be? So you need to have about equivalent to the N2 level. N2 um, level. You don't necessarily have to have taken the test. Mm -hmm. But you do have to be able to function at that level. And in the interview, parts of it are in Japanese, so you, you can't fake your way through it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. So most, of, of course, most of the time they would be dealing with Japanese people, yeah. right? In the in your workplace, right? Your workplace. And mostly are Japanese, so that's, it's important for you to really yeah. have a good command of the language, spoken and, and written. written. Yes. yes. Okay, so it's very important, guys. So if you have that good command of the language and if you're like at the N2 or N1 level, yeah. right? So, N1 is better. Yeah, N1 right. is better. <laughs> Not like me, like N0. <laughs> no, but kidding aside, if you if you have that, then of course, might as well try. Yeah, okay, being a CIR. Now, we've mentioned about like there are three Kyota uh, CIRs here in Kyotango. So if ALTs work in a school, where do CIRs work? Well, we're based in offices, um, around in the, the government offices. Mm -hmm. um, we're in different departments. I'm in the tourism department, so I'm helping with tourism sort of things. But yeah, it's an office-based role primarily. Yeah. So even if you mention about like the basic role and responsibility of translation, of course, the work now varies depending on the workplace. So of course, Adrian, as we, Adrian, uh, the other CIR here works at the Board of Education. Yeah. Jeremy, the other CIR, you've met, you've seen Jeremy in one of the previous vlogs before, and he's the half Filipino CIR, and he's working at the city hall, and then of course we have Trevor here who works at the 
the Kotango City Tourism Association. Kotango City Tourism Association. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so he's here to promote our place. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so now, of course, today, since we have Trevor with us, he'll be focusing on his work, on the nature of his work at the Tourism Association. So what do you do? Um, so I do a lot of posting online. I do a lot of web marketing sort of thing. Um, we use social media, Facebook, mm-hmm. um, and promoting on the website as well. And local events, um, activities that are happening in town that people might be interested from mm-hmm. to, to come and see when they're traveling to Japan. Um, and also having good information on the website as well. Mm-hmm. So it's mm-hmm. it's in good, um, plain English, very easy to understand for people who use English as a second language as well. It's a very important market. Mm-hmm. Um, other than that, I help with um, when people come to Kyotango on, uh, on a tour, a media mm-hmm. tour. Yeah. I help with that, take them around, and I can do, do a little bit of interpreting on the spot there and, and make sure that they have a good time, mm-hmm. that they get to see the right sights. Yeah. Where does the translation come into play here? So that'll come in if I'm posting events and stuff online. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll you know get the Japanese materials beforehand and because they're probably posting it the same thing in yes. on the Japanese website mm-hmm. and I'll have to translate that into into English. Into yeah. the English page. You know that's why I'm very lucky to have Trevor with us because like Trevor just arrived when did you arrive? I just arrived last year in August. Yeah, so August of last year. So he's pretty new here in Katanga and since he's part of the three association the ALTs who live here like we are now being oriented or like we know the different uh, tourist spots tourist places to visit in Kyotango and you have a website you, you, he uploaded uh, well, a well I website. did not know, but I, I help I, I ah, yeah, yeah, help yes, I, I do yeah. editing on it and yeah. write a lot of the articles. can you share with us it's, the website it is called visit Kyotango and mm. I'm sure we can put a link in the description yes, at yes. the bottom there so please visit uh, www.visitkyotango.com and what are we going to see in the you're, website? You're going to see a lot of information about local mm-hmm. local activities. You're going to see like local restaurants, mm-hmm. learn about the local specialty foods like barazushi. Oh, yeah. It's very tasty. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, some local accommodations as well. You can book right there on the website. Mm-hmm. So Trevor is like, you're part of the managing team. I, yeah. Yeah. Who manager. works on the, the website. How, how long is your work? What time do you start? What time do you end? Uh, so it's from 8.30 until 4.15 mm-hmm. um, with 45 minutes for lunch. So it's pretty much pretty similar sort of hours to mm-hmm. ALT, yeah. as I understand. Yes. Um, yeah, it's a little, little bit shorter than the Japanese staff <laughs> do in the office. Uh, so I usually leave a bit before them, but uh, they don't seem to mind too much. Yeah. So are you really just working? Uh, if you don't have like the tours, you don't have to really go out of the office. So you're just on your table, like working on the computer. Yeah, that's most of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And how's your relationship with the Japanese co-workers? Uh, it's really good. Everybody is really friendly and, and welcoming. They they understand that my Japanese isn't as good as theirs. <laughs> so so they're they're quite mindful to um, sort of simplify it a little bit when they're talking to me and be a little bit more understanding if I'm having trouble getting my point across. <laughs> <laughs> I see. So should we say can can we say that the job at the tourism association is not really that toxic? It's Oh, no, no, it's, no, no. it's really, really, they're really friendly, really accommodating. Yeah, and really fun, right? And I have participated in one of the events at the Tanka Festival, right? Yes, yeah. yeah. I mean, that wasn't one of our events, but uh, oh, it, <laughs> that was the, the International Association. Uh, the International Association events. Yeah. But we took part in the Tanka Festival. Part, yeah. Yeah. You yeah. might have seen that yeah. in the previous vlog, so please uh, also check it out. Now, uh, another question would yeah. be, of course, it, this is very important for those who want to apply. Do CIRs and ALTs have the same salary? Controversial question. <laughs> yes, we do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We get the same amount of, okay. same amount of money. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so uh, in a previous blog, I mentioned about the expenses that I have as an ALT. So let's try to find out if Trevor as a CIR also, have, uh, also has the same expenses. So like, basically, where does your money go? <laughs> My money goes instead of the save, uh, first <laughs> savings <laughs> part. <laughs> um. My, my a lot of it goes on heating in the winter, um, <laughs> and a lot of it goes on rent. I find mm. they're probably there too, the bigger ones. Um, so I came here with my family, so we have a slightly bigger house than than a lot of other people, yeah. and 
the same amount of pay <laughs> to spend a bit more on the house. Yeah, so of course, just like ALTs, Trevor spends on electricity, yeah. like intern, internet, internet yeah, uh, yeah. of course, the grocery or food, yeah. and of course, this time he's not only living alone; he's with his family. Yeah. He has uh, his wife with her, uh, with him, and uh, her, uh, his what do you call this? Very beautiful baby, uh, so, yeah. Natasha. Like who's just like how old is uh, Natasha? She's a year and two months. Yeah, a year and two months. So, in, uh, to sum it up, are you enjoying your life as a CIR? Yes, I am absolutely. It is really, mm-hmm. really good, really good. Ah, uh, Trevor, really good life here. Mm-hmm. If I'm not mistaken, have you experienced being an ALT before? I have, yes. I was an yeah. ALT uh, 12, 13 years ago. Ah, is, is it under the JET program? That was, yeah, under the JET program. Yeah. Yeah. So, guys, for example, he, 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 he was a previous ALT, but he came back, of course, to be a CIR. And actually, when he was an ALT, that's when he met, that's um, when I met his wife. wife. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a different story. Well, another, another, another video. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so thank you very much, Trevor. And, of course, we'll be interviewing as well Adrian and Jeremy. Of course, to get to know, of course, their life at the City Hall, at the Board of Education. But... Basically, this is what uh, CIR does, okay, uh, here in in Japan. Okay, so do you have any like parting words or like encouragement uh, to our viewers who would like to apply? And can you try to st- uh, say it in Japanese? Absolutely. Filipino mina sa de CIR no moshikomi o gambate kudasai. Okay, so I'll just put their subtitles if he did not understand. <laughs> okay, so thank you very much, Trevor, for your time. And of course, guys, please visit the website of the embassy and try to download the application form. And of course, if you have what it takes to be a CIR, please try to apply. And hopefully, we will see you here in Japan and who knows, maybe here in Kyotango. <laughs> see you! Take care.